Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. This is Marcos, and today I'm going to be making hopefully a basic video. So, today I'm going to be talking about something called Free DVD Boot. So, what is it? Well, it's a PSD soft mod. Also, what else is it? A file slash folder explorer. What does it have? Launch shelf. And I'm going to show you exactly what it is. So, basically, yeah, it's a soft mod, which means you don't need to solder your PS2 in, or, or in order for this to work. So, I have a special DVD, which is actually burned, and it should be right here. So, this, as you can see, is a free DVD boot. And as you can see, it's a, the best one for these should be DVD minus R, but I have a DVD plus R, which is also okay. Uh, the make of this DVD is Memorex, although it shouldn't really matter as long as it has some space on it. So yeah, so we're going to uh, open it. By the way, don't mind the PS1 controller. Something happened with my PS2 control, so I have to use this for now. But either way, as you can see, although this PS2 has the network adapter, I promise you that this will work without anything, without a memory card, well, you will need a controller, of course, but you don't even need an external or anything like that. So, let's see what happens if we if we even put it in. So, yeah, I will just turn on the TV. And as soon as I turn on the PS2, you will see that there is absolutely nothing right now. So, yeah, well, apart from the controller. So, this is how your normal... PS2 starts, right? So what does happen if we put in the DVD? Let's see. Right now there's just the browser. And yeah, there's really nothing right now. So let's put it in. Don't scratch hopefully. It looks fine. I don't really use it that much. Because I already have it in the memory card. Which uh, yeah, you can do that too. So. Let's put it inside. The PS2 is gonna load it, of course. And I better get my controller ready as well. So, this is a special video for my friend who said my idea was pretty good. So, yeah. Um, so, as you can see, there's a file browser about ULE might be a little bit excited right because it's just a burnt DVD that's really all it is and it allows you to stop the star disk PS2 DVD it detects the format of the disk you have some other things and as you can see this is the long shelf which I did explain right here so uh, what you can do right now is go to the file browser of course it's not going to actually show because oh, actually it does so now if i would put the memory card in and refresh the launch elf which is what this is uh, it would load so let's do that let's go to okay let's go up let's go back and we can't no problem so what happens if you open it when there's nothing clearly there's nothing so yeah it's not going to show anything so another thing i should explain MC0 is slot 1, MC1 is slot 2, which is something that uh, they sort of misrepresented, I guess. Uh, this is the hard, this is the internal hardest drive. Uh, this is the disk. Mass is actually the USB port, if I can just open the light. So yeah, there, it actually says that there is only one slot but it works for both slots actually if you have a second USB uh, inserted in the thing then it's actually going to show sh mass one host is for something else and then we also have miscellaneous so let's see what, what's inside this so as you can see this allows you to go to the PS2 browser which is where you have the CD DVD or the memory card then you have PS2 disk which works really well even for things which have a RSOD or in other words red screen of death 
you have PS2 net which is something I could use if I wanted to because I have the network adapter in you can power up the console HDD manager is something where you have partitions and where you can make certain drives for the hard drive text editor yes you can actually use a keyboard so it's easier to type uh, JPEG viewer which is just a picture viewer you can configure it uh, I think this is something both of these are something which saves on the memory card I'm not sure about this you can even show the font <laughs> it's a cool feature uh, debug info I've never used that I don't think about ULE is basically like who made it so there's some credits that goes to you guys and let's go to the file browser again and see the last button that's in there and there's also OSD sys which, which basically restarts the console and these are the rest of the buttons so let's actually insert the the memory card in right shall we do that I think so so let's put this in and now after it loads let's wait like five more seconds let's go to MC0 and as you can see now it does actually load so I have some games here uh, although you're not gonna be able to recognize much from this but yeah as you can see I have a 64 megabyte memory card <laughs> there's even uh, homebrew stuff here actually uh, let's press R1 menu no that's the wrong one sorry let's do L1 mode and do game title and yeah this back to browser and now you're gonna, gonna be able to see back to browser thank you oh that's actually show now sorry about that so yeah now you can actually see the games which should be more useful to you if you are curious about what games I have so yeah well let's see what's inside this actually oh, never mind that does not take oh it does work actually <laughs> it's some sort of a hack which I'm not even sure for which game it is but anyway you can even see how much space you have left so you still have plenty oh let's go back there if it will actually load yeah there's 45 megabytes left so uh, another thing another feature I should say from a free DVD boot is that you can put the mass you can use the mass thing so for that I'm gonna have to let's see I'm gonna put this in the slot okay so now I've actually plugged it in and actually, let's see what happens if I put it in slot 2. It's still going to same mass, as you can see. So if we go over there, by the way, this only works with uh, FAT32 or lower FATs, uh, uh, file formats or whatever it's called. So yeah, let's see what happens if we go into that. And obviously, it's going to actually load the games. If it hasn't frozen that is <laughs> you really should be having the USB plugged in when you actually uh, boot the launch shelf so yeah we're gonna do that just now I'm going to restart the console so if we restart the console I've turned it off if we restart it, uh, it the launch shelf is actually going to be ready for the memory card and it's obviously going to boot straight into the uh, DVD but this time it's not going to freeze sometimes things like this do freeze but uh, it's only if uh, it's only because I didn't uh, have it plugged in before so yeah so let's go back to the file browser and go to mass and as you can see now it does actually load and sometimes if you refresh it it even reloads in the uh, launch shelf it just hasn't done it before so uh, as you can see I have a lot of stuff here I'll probably have some games as well although you can't uh, exactly 
read too much from these. It's just uh, files and none of these will probably tell you anything that you want to know. As you can see, I even have retro arch in there. In there. Okay, so uh, the way you would install all of this by just putting in the DVD is you would have to uh, have free macboot put it onto the external or the USB it doesn't really matter which one you use and then you would just uh, launch it so I think I actually have it somewhere let's see because I don't even oh yeah this is what you would put on the in one of the folders you would have the root which would be this and then you would have need to create a folder called FMCB and whatever version you're using so uh, OK is circle in this one and then you would open this you would open FMCB install which stands for free map boot so if we open this and then as you can see you can actually install it however you would need to have at least some memory card so uh, I just used a regular one so if you would have it in slot 2 then the PS2 or rather the free memory wouldn't have a problem with uh, being able to detect slot 2 on the memory card so yeah you would install this and then after that you can just exit so yeah we'll do that quit program and then it would just install it's really that easy even though this video is fairly long now but yeah it, it's actually detecting it as a DVD video and the way that all of this works is basically the PS2 has a, a ability to be able to detect DVDs as DVD videos so uh, if you remember the PS2 does actually have a DVD player inside and uh, if you press select then it can view more buttons and then with that you can do more stuff so that's how this works and how the burn dvd itself works so yeah so that's everything i wanted to show and thank you very much for watching this i hope this video was at least somewhat understandable that's all take care and bye